right, so you're probably wondering, Nova, where's the uploads? I want to see more zombies. Well, um, good question there. Uh, for the past five days, my computer has been in repair. Oh my god! Don't mind me here. I am just kind of relieved that this is all fixed now. So, basically, let me tell you a good story of what happened five days ago, five to six days ago. So here I am, you know, preparing for streaming. This was day I was like gonna stream with my sister. You know, I said to everyone, "Hey guys, guess what? I am streaming. I'm gonna be streaming tonight." I start the stream. Nothing was responding, and no, yeah, nothing was responding. And I not only that, but I had to unplug the computer and plug it in a different wall plug because all the plugs that I have here, I even have an extension cord plug for all that stuff, and. There was no room for it. There's no room for an extra plug. So I had to plug it into a different wall. And what happened was I unplugged it. And when I unplugged it, I plugged it into another wall. And I turned my computer on. And it gives me some kind of like hard drive problem. So it's like saying, wait as Windows is trying to repair the problem that's going on. I'm like, oh, great. I'm like, let me guess. XSplit is doing the same shit again or whatever programs that I didn't get the update you know, failed. So it says, cannot find the problem. And I kept restarting. I'm like, you know, I know for a fact that if I restart, it's going to work this time. I restarted and it didn't work. And I started to get even more frustrated because it was like five minutes before the stream was going to start. And I was just thinking to myself, come on, this has got to work. It, it just really has to work. If it doesn't work, I am going to be furious because this is pissing me off. From one thing of XSplit not working, then to shut off the computer, put in a different plug, deal with all the other plugs that I had to do with, okay? And I know, I'm talking really fast, but deal with all these other play, like, plug, blah, 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 plugs. There's like 12 different other plugs that I have right now plugged into an external plug for my Mac, computer, Xbox, another Xbox, TVs, and internet, and then microphone, everything. So pretty much I had everything all like filled up and it was pretty... Okay, I keep saying and. I gotta stop saying and. I gotta stop saying that. Anyways, I was getting really frustrated, so I kept restarting the computer every time it kept saying it couldn't find an issue. Well, pretty much what happened was the moment it tried to find an issue. Yeah, wait, hold on. Let me start here. Pretty much I kept restarting until I actually found an issue of what was going on. But the problem with the issue is it couldn't find the issue. <laughs> so I found one issue is that it couldn't find the issue. Get it? Anyways, so the moment I said. The moment it says click continue uh, for it to run, whatever. So I click it, and it shuts off the computer. I do the same thing. It says it finds some issue, and then it says it can find the issue. Then it does the same thing. So it keeps shutting off the computer, and we keep restarting the computer. So the, I call the computer guy, and I'm like, listen, man. I'm like, there's a problem with my computer, and I know I just brought it in about two weeks ago, and you're probably going to flip at me, but for some reason, my Windows isn't starting well. And he's like, oh, great. What is wrong with, like, what is wrong? Like, this is a new computer, and he... For some reason, he every time he fixes some little issue or whatever at the time, <clears throat> he even built my PC and he's like, woman, the PC you have here is like a god. Okay, like his computers that he built and stuff, he says, this is nothing, like the PCs I fix and everything is nothing compared to this one. He's like, take care of this computer. Do not do anything stupid. I'm like, okay. So I take good care of it, and then some issues just go down the drain. When it goes down the drain, I'm like, oh, shit. I'm like, what am I doing? I'm not doing anything wrong. And he's telling me, okay, well, you're not doing anything wrong, but something's happening with the computer. Something's not right about the computer. He's like, this is a problem. Thank God I have a one-year warranty for this computer because, if, like, for all the parts. But problem is, I'll get to this part anyways. So switching stories here. I call him like, hey, I'm like, there's a problem with my computer. It's not so. He's like, oh, great. He's like, this is not good. He's like, so what's the problem with it? I'm like, I shut off the computer. I put in a different plug in. I turn the computer on, and then it's trying to find some situation, and it can't find the problem, and then it shuts off my computer. He says, oh, that's not good. He's like, chances are you might have to reboot your window. And I'm like, oh, great. I'm like, perfect. I'm going to have to bring it there again and pay more money for repair. I'm like, just as I got it back from like two weeks ago, and luckily, that two weeks ago, he was able to fix it before, you know, it happened. Well, actually, it was a little more than two weeks ago. It was, it was the day when I got my internet, my new internet plan. I turned on the computer and something was wrong with it. It, went, it would go off because 
apparently what happened is someone actually broke one of my little usb things in the front of the computer case and that was when i was gone on vacation so i had my friend there and i don't blame my friends or anything like my friends i'm pretty sure it was a mistake and i forgive them for that or or they probably didn't even know themselves who knows but i came back and i saw something broken there and i'm wondering what the heck happened but i ignored the problem of it which i wish i didn't have because on that day i was going to stream as well on that day and i think i ended up streaming at the end at night but really <sighs> uh, i don't even know so he tells me he's like okay come to my store so i can burn a disc of windows 7 for you so you can reboot it yourself and i'll continue this in a second <laughs> Alrighty, so i am back and on to the story what happens is um why is it doing that okay but anyways I go bring the PC back, uh, not the PC, I go to the place, he gives me the disc, and I come back home, and I start trying to see if I can boot it myself, so, um, because I suck with PCs and bootings and shit like that, I actually called him and said, listen, I don't want to lose anything on my hard drive, it is really important I don't lose anything on my hard drive, because I need everything that's there, and he was like, okay, so he gives, he, he goes to step, steps with me and stuff, and nothing still worked, and he's like, okay, He's like, chances are you'll have to come and bring it in tomorrow since I'm about to close. I'm like, okay. Next day, I go bring it in. And I'm hoping that he would have fixed the problem one day and actually get it back by that same day. What happens is he doesn't know exactly what the problem is, and he's still figuring it out. The next day, he he's, uh, he's still working on it. And then, yeah, the next day, the day after... He called, well, I actually had to call him because I was wondering what was taking so long because he said he was going to call back, but I guess he was still trying to fix the issue. And he's like, yeah, sorry for the long way. You know, with one terabyte, we don't have, like, our computer wasn't fast enough to get all the memory on there. So it took, like, a long time to figure out the problem. Plus, we were checking out the hard drive and see what was going on. We we're wondering if it's probably the plug in your, in your, in your case or uh, something to do with the hard drive. So I'm like, okay, man, when do you think you can get it done? And he's like, oh, I might take another day. And I'm like, oh, no, please, no. I'm like, I need to upload. No. So I'm like sitting here on my Mac, like sitting here using my Mac computer sobbing. I'm like, oh, I want my PC back. I know I'm, I'm, I'm complaining. I'm being a child here. But so after that. Um, I call the next day and I'm like, okay, so what's, what's going on? He's like, for some reason we ma we managed to get everything in, in a backup, but the problem is it's either like good chances are it's your hard drive. Your hard drive for some reason isn't working. We tried it and it won't even let us boot windows or anything. I'm like, oh shit. I'm like, that's great. I wonder how much I'm going to be spending on this. He's like, chances are you'll have to return your hard drive and replace it. Like have it, bring it to their manufacturer and get a new hard drive from them so i go with my father because i don't drive yet i i should be driving by now but the thing is the law changed here and it's a completely different compared to the states here when you register you pay like about a thousand dollars 900 to a thousand dollars go for courses and then not only that wait 12 months like wait 12 months do your courses like for 12 months and then after that 12 months go for your test and if you fail your test you have to wait another two three months or so but you have to pay for the test to to drive and stuff it's not like you do some tests and then you know you can get it all super fast but um so anyways i go to the computer store that i got all my pc parts and i tell them the problem and they tested it out themselves and like well it doesn't seem like anything's wrong with the hard drive at all but you know we'll do a whole scan if anything and We'll bring it to the manufacturer anyway since they already backed up your, your files and everything. I'm like, perfect. So I like I, I was kind of a little let down. I was a little upset that, you know, I'm like, oh, great, another day. I'm like, what am I going to do, you know? Like I was kind of like a little stressed. And I guess, you know, I, I was just complaining so much saying about this hard drive, how it's giving me such problems and how I wish I had like an SSD. Like I wish I would have had one of those, you know? And I was talking to the guy about it, you know, and I guess my father must have overheard me or something. And he came to me and he's like, you know, before before we leave, let's just look around, on, you know, at the computers and stuff. And he was looking around and uh, he was talking to a few people. And he was like, you know, what can we do to make the computer faster? And he was asking, like, I was just dizzily, diddly dally looking at these other monitors, screens, computers, like all attached together. And 
I turn around and he's like, um, listen, we're going to get you an SSD card and we're going to get you a two terabyte hard drive. I'm like, oh shit. I'm like, you gotta be kidding me. I'm like, unbelievable. Like I, I was just super shocked. I was like, what? You gotta be, I, I'm, I'm, I was lost. So he's looking, he's like, uh, he goes, uh, madam, cause here people speak in French or in, in English. So, you know, we, instead of say, Hey lady, you know, you say, Hey madam. I don't know if it's the same way as in English. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, so he's asking, uh, give me the, the highest terabytes you have. And so, like, they showed two terabytes. And then he turned around and he's like, do you, do you have three terabytes? And I'm looking at him I'm like, are you out of your mind? And they're like, sadly, no, we don't. Uh, like, we don't have uh, the highest that we have is like two terabytes. And and then we looked at the SSD card and I got was 128 gigabyte SSD for my programs and it just goes like this I'm just so happy you know like the total cost of this came close to $500 so I have now two terabytes and I'm gonna have another terabyte coming back from the manufacturer so I'm gonna have three terabytes in total and an SSD card for the programs and uh, yeah so we brought it to the guy and the guy got it done the next day and the moment I came home I was trying to get Sony Vegas like, I was reinstalling the programs, and I love Google Chrome for this because Google Chrome, I kept all my files and, and like, uh, the sites that I would go to to play games whenever I'm bored or Twitter or YouTube and stuff. Like, it was all there, all the things that, you know, everything kind of recovered pretty much from what was on the old hard drive. And um, so, uh, yeah, the one problem that I really had for the past day was Sony Vegas. And that's pretty much, that's pretty much the whole story of why it took so long for my computer like, for everything, why I haven't uploaded and stuff. And I am truly sorry for not uploading anything. Like, I said I make it up for people by the time the PC is fixed, I am streaming. So, um, exploit, I didn't have to, like, re like I didn't have to redo everything. It was all there. It was all backed up. It was like, would you like to do this? And then I back it up. I was like, yeah. The one thing that really pisses me off is that I have to redo um, The Walking Dead, I think. I, I checked and the file wasn't there and I tried looking on the old hard drive. I'm trying, I'm still looking through the whole old hard drive. Okay, so um, just bear with me on that. I know chapter two is coming out very soon. It was supposed to be coming out right after E3. I don't know what happened there, but um, yeah, guys, this explains the whole story of what's going on and um, I will be posting up more videos soon now that like, now that everything's fixed and I do hope that nothing else worse happens to my computer than what really ha like what already happened to it. But um, thank you for sticking by and understanding why um, I haven't uploaded for a few days. Uh, I was even at the brisk of the point of asking um, Yodi to uh, record some gameplays I had. And then he was asking, like, did you have any good gameplays in Modern Warfare, Modern Warfare 3 while playing? I'm like, no, I didn't get any good, play good gameplays at all. I, I did shitty. Okay, I did shitty. So... Um, and he ended up not recording, like, I, I just told him there's nothing really good to record on there, so, that was a scratch, so, you know, it was, it was nice if I'm offering and stuff, so, but, uh, yeah, but anyways, uh, I do hope you enjoy this zombie gameplay I think I'm gonna be putting on as a replacement, yeah, chances are I am, because I haven't, and I want to actually post it for a while, I actually like this map, and, uh, I forget the name of it. <laughs> <laughs> I am just so horrible with this. But uh anyways people, I am out and hopefully there'll be a live stream tomorrow. So keep a watch out on my channel, you'll see it. Uh follow me on Twitter, uh rate, like the video, you know, and uh subscribe to see more. The big summer coming ahead and uh a lot of things are gonna be uploaded. See ya.